If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over my Team of the Week, Week 7 predictions, guys. Now, I like to always talk about fantasy in here a little bit, too, guys. My fantasy team absolutely went ballistic this week. Like, this is one of my best weeks of fantasy ever. I almost broke our league record, if not did. Bro oh, no, I came close to breaking because someone else just hit that mark a few weeks ago absolutely crazy i mean guys i had um had jalen hurts i had uh, jamar chase terry mclaurin swift dearness johnson kyle pitts eli mitchell just oh i think almost everyone on my team had above 100 yards yeah everyone on my team had above 100 yards it, it was absolutely wild and that's with i had zeke and saquon on the bye weeks i had both on the bye weeks it was absolutely wild how did i get saquon before you guys think it's a four-man league it is not it's a 10-man I traded low on him as he, right as he got hurt again. I picked him up for DeAndre Hopkins, I believe, which may not have been the smartest thing, but I do have Jamar because I got Jamar like in the sixth or seventh round. So I, I already had wide receivers and I had Terry McLaurin. Nonetheless, guys, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. And of course, comment down below, who do you think it will be the biggest snub of Team of the Week of this week or who do you think deserves it the most? But let's get into this. So... For the beginning of the list, obviously, we have the lower set pieces, which are the lower players that will get the players that get the power-up pass, or, like, the plus ones. So, let's start with the guys that I think will actually benefit us here. Because, like, obviously, some of the names won't benefit us. They'll just be cards, like, just placeholders. Some of them actually will help our teams out. So, the first one, guys, Cooper Cup had a great day. I mean, honestly, if it wasn't for some other guys that did have a day, I think that he would have gotten a better card. So, I could see him being one of the top set pieces. Now, Cooper Cup is a top set piece. would probably get around 87, 88 speed. Decent route running. The card itself won't be too crazy, but it is Cooper Cup. Uh, a lot of people probably want to see a card. I'm, I'm, I'd imagine in some promo in the near future, they will probably be giving him a card because he's well, well deserved at this point. Cooper Cup had like 150 yards, two touchdowns, something like that. Next, this is a big one. This is a really big one if they give him the top set piece, like an 89 overall, 88 overall. Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts has, of course, his Rick Premier, uh, which you, I'm going to have to compare right here for you guys to see it because, of course, it's not going to, there's none on the block. So Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts at an 86 overall already has an 88 speed. If they give him an 88 or 89 overall, he'll probably get like a 90, 91 speed, uh, as well as some better route running and some better catching. Kyle Pitts would be really, really fun as well. And that would give him a power-up, which would start the whole power-up chain for him as well, which is something I definitely want to see. Uh, the next one, guys, Dearness Johnson for the Browns. That's not going to be a useful one, so I won't even type that one in. Uh, Dearness Johnson filled in for Chubb and Hunt and did an amazing job doing so. He had like 146 uh, yards, and then he had a touchdown, I believe. We also have... Aziz, the rookie for the Giants, he had two sacks. Would be a pretty fun card, depending on the overall they gave him. Sam Hubbard, another end here, or another pass rush, I should say. 2.5 sacks. And then we have Danico Autry, two sacks. So that's going to be my lower set, guys. Now, for my top players, these are going to be some, fu some fun names in here, some throwback names for my defensive Legend Hero, guys. Now, Legend Heroes are players that had great performances this week of Week 7 in past in past performances and didn't you know and they don't still play so my first guy's gonna be brandon flowers brandon flowers uh if you guys have played mud or played madden or even just, you know watch football you've heard that name for probably quite a while he used to be a really good corner especially muddy was always like a top base elite then he slowly fell off of course as time goes on corners don't always have the longest level of longevity as a top corner right that's just it's tough to be that elite for that long at that position it's just not the you know like that elite right especially if people who aren't that physically gifted or other you know other stuff but Brandon Flowers, he had two interceptions and a pick six for like 55 yards, 53 yards, something like that. That's a really good game. Uh, he's the kind of guy that I could see back in Madden. Remember, the thing with Team of the Week, Team of the Week is kind of, Team of the Week Legend Heroes are kind of similar, in my opinion, to like the, the fan favorite team MVPs, right? In a way, they there's it's players like, like let's say Brandon Flowers won't get a Legend card. He won't get a flashback, all right, but he might, but but he's also a card that was good in mud, so that's what they kind of use Team of the Week Legends uh, to do. They pretty much give you guys guys that like, like, you know, DeMarco Murray's, like guys that they won't drop as a legend card, but guys that do deserve a card. Um, next, guys, we have Demarius Thomas for our offensive legend hero, Week 7 as well. Demarius Thomas, another name. Uh, you guys, again, he's not mutt. I believe he did retire. Uh, Demarius Thomas is a name that if you guys have played fantasy football or you guys watch football or played Mutt, you know that he's been around for a while, like 10 years. He's been a big name. You know, there was a time when he was dominating as like the top receiver in the game, you know, stats wise with Peyton Manning. Uh, he was he was great. 
Demarius Thomas, 171 yards, two touchdowns. He probably was playing this game with Peyton Manning more than likely. I mean, there was the Brock Osweiler days, but I'm pretty sure this goes a decent amount back. But Demarius Thomas, 171, two touchdowns. I hope he gets a card because I, I like Demarius Thomas a lot. Like I said, I, I played with him in Mutt plenty of times. I played franchise with the Broncos back in 2015, 2014, and he was my top wide receiver. So it'll be really cool to see him back in the game. It was always a good card. He, um, he's kind of similar to a Cortland Sutton card. He won't have elite speed. He'll have pretty decent height. He'll be pretty physical. He's always been like a very well-rounded wide receiver, like a Brandon Marshall typically, uh, but not as tall and stuff. So Demarius Thomas would be good. I don't think he'd be meta. It really depends on how they made the card. Of course, the LTDs typically get the better overalls and everything else. But let's get into our current hero. Now, guys, if we get this guy as the current hero, which I think we will, this card may actually go crazy, depending if they go off his rookie premiere, right? Uh, that, that's going to be the thing here. Do they go off the rookie premiere card? Jamar Chase. Now, the thing with Jamar Chase, he does spell his name a little weird. So I'm just going to type in Chase because I don't feel like finding the apostrophe. Oh, I see it there, but you know what I'm saying. So Jamar Chase currently has a rookie premiere card right here, 150K. Still holding some pretty good value. So... If he gets a current hero, he will be a 94 overall powered up, right? 93, 94 over there. If they go up in overalls. A plus eight increase on Jamar Chase. I don't know what they'll do, but I imagine the speed's a 95. At least, right? I don't see... I mean, unless they don't they don't count Ricky Premier stats into card stats, because the cards were kind of above their time for their overall. But I have to imagine, right? Jamar Chase gets 90 route running all across the board. Above 90 spec catch. He probably gets all 90 catchings route running with a 95 speed. He probably ends up being like one of the best wide receivers in the game. If that's the case, what they do with him here. Uh, behind the card stats, guys, his change of direction has to be like a 94, 95. His juking is going to be mid 80. Spin move going to be mid 80. Spec catch, like I said, above 90. His break tackle is going to be above 90. And then as far as like trucking and stuff goes, like that could even hit the 80s like or close to it. He was pretty powerful when he runs with the ball. Not above 90 carrying for sure. 80 strength, like that's very realistic. This is going to be one of the best wide receivers in the game if they do go ahead. If they don't do him dirty, if they don't if they don't say, oh, that Rick Premier card has nothing to do with it, like, we're just going to give him a 93 speed, which would just be stupid because he already has a 92 or 91. Hopefully, they don't go that route. But, guys, for our LTD curve, oh, by the way, Jamar Chase had 201 yards and a touchdown, right? I believe that's what it was. 201 yards and, like, a, he had a really, really long touchdown uh, this week. But, anyways... For our current LTD current hero, right? Like, this is a guy that played, still plays, but has a past performance recently. And that's going to be Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams had 196 yards and two touchdowns, of, uh, I believe, in 2020, even last year. And Devontae Adams has not gotten any cards. This is why it makes sense for him. Now, this card will probably be a 95 overall, powered up. So, you're looking at a plus 7 increase. Now, a plus 7 increase on Devontae Adams. Remember, Devontae Adams is like a stereotypical next-gen route-running wide receiver. The problem is he's too slow. If they can give him 90 speed here, 90 or 91 speed here, with all above 90 catching, he could be very usable, right? Uh, he'll have crazy good route running. He'll have like 94, 95 route running with 90, 91 speed, as well as 90 agility. Um, you know, he's 215, 6 foot 1. He probably ends up with above 90 change of direction. He probably ends up close to 90 ball carry vision, above 90 juke, above 80 break tackle. If him and Jamar Chase both drop, Jamar Chase is going to overshadow him. But Devonta Adams will not be that bad of a card. He'd actually be a pretty good card because of how well you can utilize a route running and, you know, route tech on cheaper AP and all that stuff. So still very usable. But that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on the bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.